Hey guys, so today I've got the new Sephora Sun Safety Kit. I'm going to talk about those and show it off and uh, kind of go through it with you guys. I apologize for my absence the last couple days. Uh, Sister-in-law unexpectedly passed away uh, Sunday night, so uh, anyway, any good prayers or thoughts you can send, that would be uh, wonderful. So, okay. Let's get to the good stuff. The Sephora Sun Safety Kit, which, uh, so it costs $39. The retail value is $235, though. And they donate $25 to the Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center, which is a big research center, center for all these kinds of cancers. I remember when my mom was going through chemo, they used all the uh, Memorial Sloan Kettering uh, like formulas and regimens and things like that. So they were very huge in terms of the little bit of research that was done on the specific type, the very rare type my mom had. So anyway, so $25. But if I remember in the past, didn't all of it go to it? I don't know. I could be wrong. But And they're donating at least a minimum of $700,000, which is huge. And a lot of them just have like a maximum, but to see a minimum was good. So anyway, for the minimum donation of $700,000. Okay, so let's get to the goodies in here. Uh, okay, so the full size that they are giving out in this one this year is the First Aid Beauty Mineral Sunscreen with 20% zinc oxide. This is, for me, the main selling point because I think this sunscreen alone sells for like around 30 or 40 bucks. And I was interested in trying it. So uh, this, one, this, this set is mineral sunscreen heavy, I will say. But anyway, so I'm going to put this on, one on right now because I didn't put my sunscreen on yet this morning. So... Let's see if it's worth its weight in gold. I'm pumping. Hang on. Here we go. Oh, wow. Okay, I was not, I, for some reason I thought this was tinted. So I'm a little shocked and this is a very small amount, but anyway. It's, uh, it's pretty white. I mean, once it absorbs, it, uh, doesn't look terrible, I don't think, but... I always love a tinted mineral sunscreen. If they could all be tinted, it would just be a wonderful world. But anyway. Here we go. And FYI, it's Minnesota and it's been like super cold still. We had spring for like a day and then it turned back to winter. So, which is a bummer because I'm ready for spring. Okay, there we go. Well, I mean, for mineral sunscreen, it's not tinted. It's not terrible. It doesn't uh, doesn't have like a noticeable white cast, so that's something. So I guess that's, if I would have known this wasn't tinted, I wouldn't have been as excited about this. <laughs> so I'm glad I didn't just go and buy it myself, just this individually, because I've been disappointed. I just like tinted sun, mineral sunscreens, because then you don't have to follow up with foundation and you don't have the white cast as noticeable, but it is pretty, uh, pretty invisible. So zinc oxide. I was wondering if this was non-nano or nano because the nano zinc oxide really uh, has very no little to no white cast, but the non-nano stuff is typically has more. So anyway, well, whatever. There we go with that one. We've got a couple more. The Dr. Dennis Gross Wrinkle Defense. I believe this was the full size in last year's set, or it might have been the year before. I don't think I got last year's set because I think I had them all. So anyway, what else do we have? The Kiehl's Ultra Facial, Facial Sunscreen SPF 30. This is the other full size in here, which is a big, big amount, 1.7 ounces. This one is a chemical sunscreen, but avobenzone, homosalate, octosalate, and octocrylene in here. So this one is uh, mineral or chemical. So that's kind of more exciting. But most of these are... Okay, what else do we have? The Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen, which is really wonderful. It's a holy grail for a lot of people. Uh, another chemical sunscreen. The bottle's really tiny. Uh, there's probably like one use in here. It's 0.5 ounces. But it's really nice. If you haven't tried it out, it's worth uh, trying this one out because it is a holy grail for a lot of people. And it's really nice. So... Uh, okay, so we've got a tiny little sample of the Glow Recipe Watermelon Niacinamide Serum, which this one expires in 1224. Last, this one expires further away than the full-size bottle I got right when it came out, which expired like the next day or something like that. But I didn't love it, but a lot of people actually did like this one, which surprises me. Okay, we've got the Murad Essential C Day Moisture Sunscreen, 
with vitamin C. This one's also chemical, so there we go with that little bottle. Very nice. This is another one I've been wanting to try, which makes it all worth it, in my opinion. The K-Skin Ion Glow Face Lotion SPF 45. This is one I wanted to try. This one's also chemical. For some reason, I was thinking this was very heavy in mineral sunscreens, but I'm noticing most of them are chemical. But anyway, whatever. So this one I'm excited because I wanted to try this one. So this is another thing that makes it worth it. Oh, that's another one I love. The Biosan Squalane Zinc Mineral Sunscreen. I finally uh, handed the little bit left to my friend uh, to finish off my tube because it was getting close to expiring and I knew there was no way I could finish it. So I handed it off to her and she finished it off. So I like having another little tiny backup that I know I can finish. So there we go with that. Another one I was interested in trying, the Josie Mara and Get Even Sun Milk SPF 33. Although I think I saw fragrance in this one, so I didn't pick it up. So now I'm excited because now I just get the little sample to try it. And if the fragrance is too heavy, I'm really out nothing. Because this doesn't feel like a waste because, uh, you know, I can use most of this in a couple samples. So this one's mineral. Let's see, a couple more. Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench SPF 45. This is another one I wanted to try. This is chemical. Avobenzone, homosalate, octosalate, and octocrylene. This one's really little. All oh, the Summer Fridays uh, Shade Drops. I have the full size of this, so I really like it. So this one I'll give away to somebody. I don't even know if that's enough to cover your face, to be honest. <laughs> Five milliliters. Is that enough to cover your whole face once? I don't think so. But anyway, okay. You can use it on your forehead or something. This is another I like. The Dr. Jart Sycopare Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. This stuff's really nice, and it, and it has a nice color correcting thing. It is a little bit thick, but a nice mineral sunscreen. Zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Let's see. The Innisfree Daily UV Defense Sunscreen. So many people love Innisfree sunscreen, so I'm excited to try this one out without having to buy the full size. This one's uh, chemical. So there we go with that. And then uh, the St. Jane. This is another one I wanted to try. The St. Jane SPF 30. Luxury Skin Ritual Pore Smoothing SPF 30. Uh, so this one looks like it's non-nano zinc oxide. And it looks like it's got desert rose, jasmine, and hibiscus, which I'm going to guess means it has a scent. Let me just sniff it quick. Hang on. If I can get it open. Sometimes I have to use my tweezers to get these little foil things off. Uh-oh. Don't get lost. Oh, hang on. Okay. Sorry. I know my poor tweezers. They still work well. Oh, that, so that's a slightly tinted sunscreen. I don't really smell anything. I, I smell a little bit. Okay. I, I smell a little bit like jasmine, but anyway. And then last but not least, a supplement by Hum, because they got to sell supplements somehow. It's vitamin D3. You know what though? They should have just included like the HelioCare, because that's like the real deal. This stuff, it's vitamin D3, which is nothing wrong with it, but you just don't need to, your own sample of it so anyway well this is kind of exciting so last year i don't think i got it but this year i'm excited i did because there's a lot of new stuff that i haven't even tested pure thomas roth i haven't tried the murad i've tried the unseen Scun sunscreen i like it i haven't tried the josie marn so i'm excited for that the innisfree i haven't tried yet the biosense i know i like the dr jart i know i like the keels I haven't tried, so I'm excited to try that. And the jar is gigantic again. St. Jane, haven't tried it. Excited for that. The K-Skin, another one I'm excited if it'll cover my forehead. The Summer Fridays, I know I, I like this one. The Glow Recipe is the only one I know off the bat I'm not a fan of. But anyway, yeah. So I think it's worth it. And I like the fact that $25 of it goes to cancer research. Because skin cancer is one of the... Uh, biggest, uh, most common cancers. So using sunscreen is a great way to help reduce your risk. So anyway, there we go. Interesting hearing from you guys if you're going to pick this up yet uh, or if you have and what your thoughts are on the goodies in here. So leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys and stay tuned. I will be back uh, again tomorrow. So thanks so much. Bye guys.